off two more fighting warriors from here, from Texas. Yeah. And it is T Lock Denti against Karna. Yes. Originally from Houston. Originally a Houstonian. Mm -hmm. Is it it's Houstonian, correct? Uh yeah. Okay. You could say that. Perfect. Yeah. So because we have Austinites, we have Houstonians, and we have Texas. We have Dallas? I don't know what we call ourselves. Um I call ourselves nuts. We're nuts. We're just nuts, nuts out here. Y'all are just oh. crazy. You're all the same ones. Hey, we all are, man. <laughs> we're, all, we're all Texas. We're all the South. And we're all Sheiks, apparently. Yeah. We on got Town and City right now. <laughs> we have Sheik Dittos here. Yeah. Uh, Karna versus t Lock's own Denti. Uh, I th Denti's going to be rocking the Morty. He rocks the uh, <laughs> Morty. Morty. Uh, <laughs> shout outs to Rick and Morty fans out there. Um, uh, Rick, we are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. It's uh, so good. I just yeah. saw the episode where they turned everybody into the, the grasshoppers, and then uh -huh. from the grasshoppers, they turned them into the not-so-grasshoppers. Uh -huh. And y'all need to see the episode. I love multiverses. But we're going to get to this one. Um, so 70% apiece. Uh, between the two of these guys, Karna is is super monstrous. Uh, super monstrous. He had went over to the big house and had a fantastic showing, and that was his first national. He yeah. placed really well there. And once again, he went to MLG, yep. MLG Finals. And... Um, it's worth noting, him, BC, and Trella all tied at 17th. Wow. At MLG. Yeah. That's pretty insane. Yeah, they were all 17th. So, uh, Texas, we in there, but we're not quite there. <laughs> we will get there. We're making dents. Yeah. We're, we're making dents. Yeah. Up airs. Ah, missed him with the last hit. I, two times now. Karna very aware of what dents he wants. Um, so it's going to come to the conditioning, right? He's going to go up there. He's going to try to jump up and act like he's going to up air, wait for it, and then use that up air again. But if you take him off the side, too, you know, we, that works. Yeah, I'll take I mean, those. Karna's like, okay, what, what KO problems does Sheik have? I'm not seeing him. Yeah. Forward smashes Denti. <laughs> oh, vanish. That's going to be good yeah. finish. Okay, 20% here. It's fair. It's not terribly much in this game. Um, and you can constantly build up the percentages. So... The, the thing that you're going to be looking for here is positioning. This is what matters. Mm -hmm. Because you can see forward air, you can see grabs, you can see all that into bouncing fish. And when you have them that close to the edge, you're you're going to see Stark start to shed. And, you know, it's worth noting that Karna uh, has played the Sheik Ditto a lot in Houston. He, uh, his training partner was a Sheik main. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing stuff like at 0%, he was getting hit by Denti's jab, and he just started jabbing back. Yeah, he was like... You're, you're not going to jab me. Here, I'm going to jab you. And he got, like, 12%. <laughs> I punished him on hit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Punished somebody on hit. This you punished, crazy. yeah, right? Like, oh, man. Off air strings? No. Tries to go for the vanish. There's the bouncing fish from Karna. This man always connects. Keep an eye out for how many times Karna would connect bouncing fish. It's pretty astonishing. Oh, hards it. Half buttered up smash. Takes him out. Man. Yeah. He said, just, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to be patient. I know you're going to land here, and once you do, I'm going to have something for you. Yep. So, Denti, coming a bit short on that game, but relatively close. Relatively close. Yeah, that <laughs> definitely was, especially the first stock. Uh, that was definitely percent for percent. But um, it's Karna, man. I, I think he just has a slightly better grasp at the moment on, yeah. like, um, positioning and everything for chic dittos. But, um... Denti's a very adaptive player, yeah. and we're going to see him learn things throughout the set. I already know. Yeah, this man is an OG. So this is actually um, this is a great point to bring up, is that uh, Denti's back, like started playing back in the Brawl days. Mm -hmm. uh, Karna, he just started this year. Oh, yeah. He um, So he's definitely someone who's leveled up really quickly. He's someone who um, he, will, he will hit Diamond in League of Legends. He's yeah. someone who just like picks up stuff, learns really quickly, and grows super fast. Yeah, I mean, uh, back in the Brawl days, he was basically the player that was just, like, the best out of his group of friends when they all played free-for-all. Yeah, man. <laughs> he was just that guy. And I uh, came out to TGC, beat Genus. Mm. And uh, ever since, I've been like, okay, this guy's... guy to watch. Yeah, already. <laughs> and he just... Constant growth. Consistent growth. Always asking questions. Always learning. So, um... Yeah, let, let's check this out. They're even in percentages, once again. Yeah. On the first stock. And now this is the point where the breaking point starts kicking in. Catches him with that uh, sweet spot of bear. Mm. He goes, ah. See, initially I thought he was going to go for the dash tag, and then he pivots, goes for the grab, tries to catch him rolling back onto the stage. Back throw, bouncing fish. Mm, Karna, more, so you saw Densi scoping that out. He's like, I'm in a really precarious position. I'm going to just go high here. Because mm. I know that bouncing fish can't go above. It has to go horizontal for what it is. Catches him with the up air. 
Good finish. Yeah. And um, Karna is definitely going to want to take this as quickly as possible. Um, okay, 50-50. And gets it. Yeah. Some textbook chic stuff right there. Okay, so Karna and Densi, both of these guys dead even. Now, the jab series, I'm not a huge fan of, but in the posi position that, that uh, Densi used it, did a good job just shoving him off the stage. Catches him with that final hit, spaces him out, and that has needles ready. But as soon as he's in shield, man, I'm gonna keep you there a little bit longer. Yeah. Ooh, nearly caught him with that Tinder combo. Multiple four, uh, multiple four airs. Yeah, and now um, Karna's gonna start a little something for himself here. Um, wow, definitely racking up that damage right now. And a rebuttal from Denti. Oh, excellent nair from Karna just as a retort. Denti on the receiving end. Good job avoiding that bouncing fish. These guys are trading back and forth. Now Rage is becoming much more of a factor. Denti doing a great job closing the distance. Immediately yeah. going for that dash attack, trying to avoid that mine. And we're at that magic percent where Denti is going to want to avoid getting grabbed to avoid that 50-50, the famous Sheik 50-50. Oh. oh, and Karna there, he was fishing for it. Both of these guys are just swinging at air. Oh, man. And Karna just reaching with a forward smash there. Ah. Mm, I, I almost expect, like, up air right... Yeah, there it is. Uh, I, I wanted to see if one of these guys will just go throw... Like, throw everything to the wind, go for that up smash. Dash up, up smash. Mm. And now it looks like Densi's going to start getting built up to a really high percentage here. Got him! But it's not going to be enough. Sends him back onto the stage. Yep. Both neutral uh, stage positions right now. No one has stage control. Look at these needles, dude. Wow. If all oh, forward tilt, not going to be enough to take him off the top. Good DI. Yo, bouncing fish. He's going to use up oh, either. Man, just good tech into the wall. Hold on to it. Oh, whiffs the grab. Is there the punish from Karna? The up air strings have been coming inconsistently and... Man, denty has been doing a great job of avoiding him. He's been oh. avoiding all the damage. That down smash is going to take it. There we go. Denty is still in it. One apiece. Mm -hmm. Karna versus Denty is going to game three. A very close set. And um, a nice adaption by Denty. He was basically avoiding all of the chic KO setups that second mm. stock. And he was living. He was at like, 160%. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Jeez, man, you can you can really abuse that problem that Sheik has. If you avoid those 50-50s, mm -hmm. just get yourself living to a really high percentage, kill with a Rage down smash. You can do it. So now we're getting to game three. Let's see what these guys have picked up over the course of these games. Um, so we're... Hmm. Okay, now we're looking into this next one. Four tilts into fairs into Karna, taking this man across the screen. Nearly connected with the bouncing fish, but Denzi saying, "Yeah, no, that's what you want here. Let me just see if I can avoid that." Yeah, and they're both just, just straight brawling it out. Just all these jabs and everything, center stage. And Denzi saying, "You know what? I, I got some fair combos of my own, homie. Check these out." And here's the bouncing fish. Mm -hmm. And so Karna just looking to get his footing back at the moment. Wow, a really unique uh, little dare to needles. Yeah, man. Chucks out the dive kick. Knows that the hitbox is a little bit more in front of it, and then uses that to convert into needles. Because yeah. it was just spaced well enough so that it kept him either in, in, in hits on just long enough for him to throw those needles out, get a little bit extra percentage. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, Ooh, oh, okay. Wow. He'd been conditioning with so many up airs, not only in this game, but throughout the set. And he knew that Denti wanted to air dodge early. As soon as he air dodged early, he called out that shot and then went for the vanish. Hmm. Wow, so some pretty crazy stuff going on right now. I mean, um, Denti can definitely solidify his lead if he just um, avoids grabs, avoids anything weird like uh, sweet spot up smashes. Mm. Okay, dashes mm. across, pivot, needles. So these, these guys have been doing a good job contesting back and forth. He's going to be able to get back on here. I, you know, the thing that, that's so difficult between the two of these guys is to figure out how to pin each other down. But whenever you make hard commitments, like chucking out that mine, it makes things a lot easier to close the distance, go for grabs, and set up for those up airs. Yeah, we'll definitely see unorthodox, creative things from Karna at times. He'll, and even Denti right now, I mean, he's just like doing grenade on, on the ledge and it's just uh, really safe, covers options. Puts on a little extra pressure. Is he going to roll on? 
Oh, good job avoiding the down tilt. He was baiting him to do something because he had lost his invulnerability. Does a good job avoiding it. Yeah, and Karna was looking to end it right there with a KO off the side with the fares, but Denti being smart enough to avoid that. Ooh, keeping it frame perfect. Karna catching him with that down tilt as soon as the invincibility ran over. Forward tilt up there. No, sir. We're missing that second hit that has all the knockback over that forward smash. Karna's holding on by a thread right now. Denti pressuring really well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. They're both face really trying to space out those forward tilts. Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, Denti's looking to take the stock. Is that going to be it? Uh huh. T Lock Denti advances into grand finals from the winner's bracket, sending Karna now into losers. Yeah. What a finish. Yeah. And um, a nice adjustment to see because Karna has won that in the past, but Denti's mm -hmm. showing that he is an adaptive mm -hmm. and astute player, yeah. willing to learn. Do the homework, kids. Mm hmm. Well, M, good? I think we're good. Okay, so, yeah, everyone, we're, uh, we're gonna get some losers.